So I got a bit of a head start on my day today. So I was able to come to Chester, Vermont a little bit early. And on my way driving up, I passed this country store and I thought I'll take you guys in for a sneak peek. These look super warm. Slipper sock, acorns. Wow, this feels so soft. Coffee grinder. Sweet beet and horseradish mustard. Let's try this. That's good. Sweet beet and horseradish mustard. Yo, catch this out. Cold drinks. Double, triple paned soda. Wow. Marmalade. Let's try the marmalade. All right, sweet marmalade, common cracker. I like the beet and horseradish better. It's pretty good though. Don't know what this is. Like a dill, spicy garlic dill dip. Mm. That is pretty nice. Very creamy, very smooth. All right, so I'm just going to try the apple salsa. I want to buy a little bit of everything from this store. This is delicious. This is cave aged cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Onion blossom horseradish. Let's try that. I wonder if this is something you dip with a common cracker. Okay, let's dip it in. Wow. And I can make sure that cleans out your sinuses, that one. Pineapple and habanero. Don't oh, try that next. Pineapple and habanero. Not very spicy. I thought the horseradish had more of a kick. Really good though. You also have a wide selection. Cherry donuts. Vermont maple syrup donuts. And Vermont breakfast. I don't know what that is, but I was thinking about getting a cup of coffee. Peter and Earl's coffee. <clears throat> I really need a cup? Probably not really. Ah. Pumpkin pie cookie button. And then there's a maple cheesecake mix. Okay, I'm gonna try a double vanilla cookie. 
Let's try it with the cheesecake mixed. This one is nearly empty. Here's a cheesecake mix. These cookies are delicious. Let's check this out. Nearly empty. They cleaned it out. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Oh my god, totally messing this up. When's the last time I saw this? Honey still in its comb. Raw honey. Last time I saw raw honey in the comb was back in uh, Turkey. What are you cooking this thing? What is this? Tell me what would you guys cook in this lodge? I, I want all the lodge cooking pans. I love them all. <clears throat> What chainmail scrubbing pad? Check this out. Oh my god, I want this. Could have got everything cast on it. This is how thin that is. Oh man. Oh, maybe I could get a coffee mug. Look at that. That's neat. Wish I had a top on it though. Oh my god, nine. Nine dollars. Green Mountain State in a Vermont state of mind. <laughs> what happens here stays here, but nothing really ever happens. Oh, wow. Smell the chocolate. Oh, score <gasps> to break your own geodes. Oh, nice. I'll have to get one of these. Oh, I found my favorite section. It's Christmas time. Boys and girls, hope y'all been good. Burner of incense. Oh, it's an incense burner? Incense. I don't know, I guess it smells like, like pine trees? Oh, colorful flames in your next wood fire. Oh, it's so cool. This wasn't such a bad drive either. Drive was nice, visit a country store. Let's go to the candle section. It smells like old lady perfume. Out of here. <clears throat> oh, a little ducks. What do you call these? Elephant ear. Oh, elephant ear sponges. Hand harvester, harvested in South Pacific for facial cosmetic purposes. Oh, and this is a loofah. You know, loofah is actually something you grow. It's like a vegetable with seeds in it. <laughs> I 
I saw a video on YouTube about loofah farmers. That's the only reason why I know. They have back scratches? <sighs> Body massager, back scratcher. Ooh. Ooh. Hope no one's looking at me. Okay. And hold on, check this out. What do you do with a little baby comb? What is this? Oh my god, it's a beard comb. A beard comb. It's a miniature beard comb. Oh my god. What's this? A beard brush to brush your beard. Oh, I'm in the beard section. That's why. Okay, beard wash. Oh my god. This this feels kind of good. I could I could see how this could get a. Ooh. All right. Switching the camera around. All right. Beard wash. I want this. <laughs> Big book. Country wisdom and know-how. Everything you need to know to live off the land. To make hard cheese. Banana apple shakes. Hardware. Something about doing something to your cat or animals. Footy roller massage. Oh, dangerous plants. Don't eat this. Recipes. Oh, preserving basil. Very interesting. What do peppers need? Harvesting peppers. Oh. Oh, this is gardening section. Let's see what else. Crafts. Fabric. Quilting. Basics. Vinegars. Cooking. Oh, very interesting. I'm gonna try some corn nuggets. Oh, oh, that's good. Mmm. It's like a crunchy, almost tastes like a caramel popcorn. So maybe it's like popped popcorn with a little crunchy sugar crisp on the out of it, uh, on the outer edge of it. So that was the country store visit. Wasn't that a great time? There was a lot of fun and interesting stuff in there, and I actually wouldn't mind coming back again and making some awesome purchases. Some of the stuff in there was totally worth it some stuff that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else um totally digging this uh, little stop off this is great lighting this is great lighting this is the big, uh first half of the country store a little place where you could sit down and sit down and play some um, checkers checkers some big boy checkers and let's uh head back on over to the car There she is, the Suzuki that everyone wants. But no one's gonna get her, all mine. So I finally made it home uh, two and a half hours later and I just parked up my car uh, right up there and next to one of my favorite meditation spots uh, right next to the uh, running water. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for following me on this adventure. But I also want to dedicate this video to my Suzuki Grand Patera. Uh, I'm going to be getting rid of the Suzuki Grand Patera uh, in the next, you know, coming weeks. So you guys can just think of this as a, uh, like a driving vlog. A one time, last time, you know, good time. 
with the Suzuki Grand Vitara. Uh, what a really great, fun car. I've had that car 10, 11, almost like 12 years now. And uh, it's definitely, it, it's, it's pulled its weight. And I just wanted to thank you guys for pulling your weight and going ahead and staying with me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment, an F for respect. So just comment Fs uh, all the way down in the comment section uh, out of respect to the Suzuki Grand Vitara. Uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, any cool vehicles you guys would like me to like trade or look into because uh, we're we're all about exploring new uh, you know territories and just getting out there and adventuring uh, outdoors uh, in your own backyard and across the nation international status that I'll let you guys go thanks for following me peace out Hawaii